Hello, this is the instructor's introduction for Module 1, Course Information and Visual Literacy Introduction. So hopefully you've already had a chance to go through the course navigation video, review the course policies, um, the discussion post, uh, Participation and Expectation is a great page to check out. There's some information about how to embed images into your discussion posts. If you want to do audio uh, feedback to myself or to your classmates, there's a link to learn how to do that. And then there's this really cool, um, just a discussion post cafe for you guys to be able to talk to each other. Um, but I'm going to go over what's important for module one in regards to the visual literacy piece. So. There will always be um, an instructor's introduction video and um, it will vary from length. This is what you're listening to now. And there will always be quick links on the page with the instructor's introduction video. And I'm just gonna go through this as though it were a book, um, which is how I encourage you to review all of the modules, just kind of flipping through pages. Anytime you see these blue links, it will probably take you off of Canvas to, in this particular case, um, the artist's website. And so you can navigate, you know, what she's up to and uh, what a fabulous artist Latoya Ruba Fleischer is. So anytime you see these, you can just click on them and it will give you more information to absorb whatever the learning unit is about. So you're always going to want to read all the information on the pages that I've provided for you. It's sort of like your textbook for this course. Um, and lots of really fun things to think about. Cultural context is something that I'll be mentioning throughout this course. This is a great video on why look at art. So check that out. And then I really want you in the very first part of this class to be thinking about this concept of visual literacy, which is basically what one of the things you'll be experiencing in this class is how to look at something and be able to talk about it using some of the language that I'm going to share with you. And also a lot of it is your personal interpretation of what you're looking at. So be sure to read about um, the def definition of visual literacy and then watch this short video where Folks who are really committed to this concept of visual literacy and education have come together and they're giving their personal interpretation of the term visual literacy. And one of the things that I like so much about art is that you really get to kind of put a lot of yourself and your own life experiences into these definitions. And here's some information as well about hopefully what you'll feel like um, after you've examine some of these ideas that I'll be presenting throughout the semester. This is an introduction to this concept of visual language, which is kind of part of visual literacy. If you can, if you think about it, literacy is being able to read and understand something and talk to someone about it. Visual literacy is being able to have a visual language and to be able to talk to someone about how you interpret what you see and feel from the visual experience you're having looking at whatever it is. This is a really fun video where this guy from Pixar talks about visual language and really brings it to, um, I think, a, a clear understanding. This is an awesome video that you're going to be required to watch because you're going to write a reflective essay about the concepts that you get from this Martin Scorsese film where he talks about, it's just a 10 minute video, and he's gonna talk about visual literacy and why he thinks it's so important. And again, these are some really great links that take you to a lot of the films that he's made if you're unfamiliar with his work. So these are just um, previews of the film and then you, know, you can kind of look it up in whatever media that you watch and look at. I put together a glossary that might be helpful for you when you're starting to think about this idea of visual language. And it goes everything from talking about composition to something about movement, so how your eye kind of moves around an object, or even if you're watching a video or film, how it moves across the screen. Um, saturation, the intensity of color. So hopefully by thinking about this language, it will help you 
to use these words and then also maybe be curious to even look up more. So I have included a bunch of links here that take you to some really great websites that have um, awesome glossaries that go into all this great information about art and language and the things that hopefully you'll feel more comfortable with by the end of this class. And then I created a bunch of helpful links. Um, and so there's a couple of videos that you can watch. I usually try to tell you how long it is. And also there's more links down here. Some of them you might have seen before and then some of them will be new. So that's pretty much um, what you'll be getting out of this first um, module. And I hope that it's helpful for you. If you have any questions, shoot me an email via Canvas. Thank you.